my general uh, angle when I've been writing additional content for State of Decay is to, in, in as many places as possible, dodge those answers, right? Like, obviously, in, in making Lily the leader of the network, we are stating that it is canon that she escaped Trumbull Valley. Like, obviously, in many, in many people's games, that wasn't the case. Yeah. But we're I saying mean, she, she couldn't did. be killed, but you could decide not to leave Trumbull Valley. <laughs> right, right. So we're saying Lily escaped. But we haven't really committed to the other characters who were in that, that original community. And that's very intentional uh, because we're... We're trying to, to walk that line between saying, yes, the gameplay that you experienced is real or no, it's not. And, and sort of the same for Lifeline, right? There's multiple endings there. We've kind of dodged the, the question of, of which one is, is true so that they can all simultaneously be true. Yeah. <laughs> one exception that we totally cheated on, which was... Um, essentially ensuring that that Sasquatch uh, is not dead. Uh, yeah. He, he's, he's pretty much supposed to die in Lifeline. Uh, and we said, no, he's, he's too cool to leave behind. Uh, so he even has a line of dialogue at, at some point in the state of K2 talking about uh, his, you know, his supposed death that was greatly exaggerated. So like something like he's, he's too pretty to die or something like that. Yeah. Because, because Marcus, uh, Marcus's fate is uncertain. We needed to have a character that Drew Hobson could continually come back and voice for us, too. <laughs> That's true. Right. Yeah, again, for those who are not aware, uh, same actor voiced both Marcus in the original game and Sasquatch in Lifeline, and then later State of K2. So, 